welcome. Today we're going to talk about my favorite short reads um, because, yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. Things that I enjoy that are short. Before we do that, there's a few ways you can support the channel. Number one is to become a patron at patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Number two is to take one of my courses, maybe my course on um, Zettelkasten, getting started with Zettelkasten. Find the link below or you can go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare and there you can just find it'll take you straight to Skillshare, sign up, take some of my courses. That's really it. Let's dig into my short reads. So short reads. I'm actually going to talk about the first one that I just literally lent to a friend yesterday called The Stillness is the Key by Ryan Holiday. And I think it's a short read in part because it is short, but it's also a short read in part because it should be taken in small chunks. It's not, not necessarily a book you're going to just read cover to cover every time. It's a book you're going to you know, read a chunk, read a chapter, which are short, and then just dig in, think about what it says. It's kind of a, not kind of, it is actually a philosophy book. It's a book um, that's just going to have you thinking about the what you do in life, how you treat things, and just how you react to the things that are around you. So it's just a, it's a really stellar book. I really like it. I've read it two times at the very least, and I said I just lent it to my friend Adam, and he lent me, in turn, I'll pull this out. He lent me, surely you're joking, Mr. Feynman. So I'll read that at some point, not quite yet, but that's the one he lent me. Next up, because it's the next in the stack, is Make Good Art, which is Neil Gaiman's um, uh, commencement speech to where? Make Good Art speech. I don't remember where it is. So it's a short read, and it's a heavily designed book, as you can see, like, right, heavily designed book. Um, so not every page has a lot of words. Some of them are very short uh, in words. And it's just a good book, good book to think. Think about what it means to make good art, what it means to be a creative, an artist, kind of in any in any manner, really. Um, that's just a good read. You can sit down and read it probably, you know, 15, 20 minutes, and then maybe think on it, and maybe you'll stop a few times, and, and maybe you won't. Maybe you'll just go right through it. Next up, The Dip by Seth Godin. I read this two or three times as well. So this is a good book about the dip. So when you, usually in a creative life, you can see it right on the front or in any endeavor, you kind of hit the beginning, you get a rise as you get some proficiency in it and it goes down. And you spend a lot of time in this trough where you're not getting the traction you want. You're not seeing all the rewards you think you're gonna see. You're just kind of stuck in the trough uh, and lots of things. And then, you know, after all this pain in here, then you finally start to go up. And so it's about knowing when to quit things and knowing when to keep going through this trough because you are in the trough and I particularly like the three questions he has in here which are um I talked about them before I talked about them in my range uh, versus the dip uh, video which I'll link up above but they are um I think the one I always look at most actually is are you making any type of progress so if I was looking at YouTube where I have a relatively small channel I'm looking at am I getting comments that are you know encouraging me am I seeing people show up to my streams Am I continuing to make some revenue from it? Are people taking my courses? Am I getting other opportunities as a result of, of my endeavors here? And I would say yes to all of those. So while it may feel like I'm in a dip, I'm not, not past the hump to, there's no way I can take this full time. Um, I'm not to that point yet, but I'm at a point where, you know, there is income coming in. I can spend real money on it because I have something coming. So, you know, we keep going. Next up, I've talked about this a few times. If you follow my channel, you've surely heard of it. How to Take Smart Notes by Sanka Arens. I've told, been told, that while I say this is upside down, this is actually very common in lots of places. Like, I think Germany has been told, uh, Europe, a bunch of places in Europe, this is normally how you see a book. It's upside down compared to North American books. Um, I say this is a short read because it's a little book. Smaller print, and it is, in many ways, dense. It's a book you're going to dig into. It's a book you're really going to want to think about if you're following this. Um, I have a book, I have a course called Getting Started with Zettelkast, which I already talked about. That goes into this a bit. Um, some of the ideas in here, it goes into a couple other resources as well. But this is kind of the, I don't know, I want to say the granddaddy. This is like the, the big book to read if you're getting into Zettelkast. And um, my course is a good overview. It's a good place to start. It's a good place to see my workflows in it. But this is the book that most people are referencing when they're talking about doing Zettelkast and stuff. Good book. I think that, and uh, you can see it over my shoulder here, right there, that one there with the beige spine and the red dot in the middle, um, which is how to read a book. It's another good one. Working on a course on how to read a book as well. 
The last book we're going to talk about is just five. Just five. Again, it's another heavily designed book. Um, heavily designed book. Again, you can see, right? Some pages have very little on them. And it's just got a lot of really interesting questions and really interesting, like, quotes. I think that's a quote from, what does it say, Jerry Seinfeld in there. There's a quote from Dr. Zeus in there. Um, a quote from Maya Angelou on this page as well. And just asking, like, where are you going to be in five years? Where will you be? That's the tagline. Where will you be five years from today? Which is a good question. Where will you be five years from today? And just helping you work, work through that, where you'll be in five years and what do you want to be in five years. That's it. Those are my short reads. Short list, short video, short reads. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, hit the subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know what happens. If you have any other short books that you think are good, that are worthwhile, I know a lot of Seth Godin's go in there, but The Dip is the one that I really keep coming back to. But if there's other books that you really like, I'd love to hear about them below. You can support the channel by becoming a patron, patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, by taking my courses on Skillshare, curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, links to individual courses below. We also have a Discord server where we're kind of working through a book. I'm actually being the hold up at this point. Reading The Organized Mind, it's a big, dense book that I'm working on very slowly, unfortunately for the book club. Um, but it's my book club, so it's just kind of kind of be at my pace. You'll have at least a month, maybe longer, based on how well I'm reading at the moment. That's it. Have an awesome one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Don't fall in. We'll end with don't fall in.